Hey guys, how are you doing? Congratulations for those of you participating in PeaceNet. Yesterday marked the end, the, the, the final day of the second 40-day period, and now today we start the third 40-day PeaceNet. Can you believe that? That's incredible. So basically, big shout out, congratulations to you all. And just to remind you, you know, we started in September of last year, sorry, October of last year, um, for three sets of 40 day conditions, including a 21 day condition in the middle there. And then we on that foundation, we started Chombo Challenge for our leaders. And we have been doing uh, two sets of these 40 day conditions so far first centering on God, then centering on the family. And now we're starting the third uh, 40 day peace net. And this is really geared towards the environment. So through these three sets, we're really trying to touch upon the three great blessings. Now, I know many of you may have forgotten about this, but anyway, it's good to kind of keep these things in mind. Why am I reminding you? Well, because on this foundation, we are going to be inviting you all to do the Chombo Challenge, remember? Yeah, and based on all of these three sets of 120 day periods, it's basically like a one year plan for Chombo victory. So big Congratulations to you all. We're starting the third set now. Thank you for participating. And I want to share some pictures with you now that we're talking about environment. Okay. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to share with you some more words from our true mother that you haven't heard yet. Uh, but first, I want to show you some pictures. Have you seen this view before? This is uh, a new trail I found up behind the stadium looking at the Ch uh, Chongwon complex. This is Changpyang and it is gorgeous this is uh, what it looks like in the spring this is a view from the top of the mountain looking down upon the construction site of the uh right and this is going to be spectacular spectacular and just some other beautiful shots i wanted to share with you this, I believe, is called the Revival Plaza, according to Mother's words. I haven't heard that before since uh, before that. Of course, that's the Tree of Love there. But uh, this is the new plaza that Mother created in front of the uh, prayer hall and the training center. This is very beautiful. But just look at these views uh, from around the parking area towards the lake. And up from the parking area, just springtime, everything's blossoming with color. And here again, you're looking at uh, this blue fence. They're constructing something behind there. And then here you have this gorgeous tea house that mother made. It's actually called the Hanwon Jip, Hanwon Jip. And it's built like an authentic Korean han Hano. So this is like a traditional uh, cr traditional Korean house, uh, tea house. And Hanwon Jip basically means resting, he heavenly parents resting place. And it is so peaceful there. You know, this is uh, approaching the front door. You can see there's two floors. And basically, it's, it's, it's kind of like two tea shops, a little bit more contemporary on the ground floor and a little bit more traditional on the upper floor with a beautiful wraparound terrace. And you may have seen this picture before with mother sitting at this table. This is the upper floor. Everything's carved out of wood. And here's a picture of a few of us uh, tasting the delicacies. Actually, this tea is served three different teas. I, I believe one is a tea leaf and two are flowers. And that is why you have two different cups. You're given a glass cup and a ceramic cup. And you drink the flower-based tea in the glass cup. And you drink the tea leaf-based tea, infused tea, in the ceramic cup. And then there are some caramelized nuts and small rice uh, cakes or rice crackers. And you see right there in the middle on the right, there is a timer, like a, an old school minute timer, or two minutes or one minute. And that is to keep track of how long you're infusing the tea. And apparently all of this was chosen and put together and decided and designed by True Mother. So 
I got to tell you, the tea is delicious, so good. And you can sit there with your friends, sipping. Look, everybody's taking pictures, enjoying. And it's this gorgeous room with incredible, you know, incredible view like, like this, you know, out from the terrace. It's just really, really beautiful, really peaceful, really restful. And I really recommend going there. I feel like that tea restores your health internally and externally. It's just really, really amazing. And then mother opened this Buhang department store. I believe that the term is meaning like revival or not rebirth, but like revival something. And you can see there's kind of an owl logo there on top of the bee. And these are just some pictures of inside the department store. This is replacing the old uh, mini supermarket that they had. There's sort of a VIP changing room there. And they have a little bit of everything. It's not a huge store. But um, in a moment, I'm going to share with you some words from Mother. And she kind of explains a little bit why she made this. So then I just wanted to share with you some just beautiful scenery, springtime scenery around Chongpyeong that you may not usually see. This is up behind the Chenjongung. Mother has like a beautiful like flower garden. I think she also has vegetable gardens up there. Isn't it gorgeous? And then here are some pictures. I'm going to come back to this in a moment, to these pictures. First, I wanted to, uh, I'm going to share with you mother's words in a moment, but first I wanted to find out, did you watch this video? Yes, that is right. That is me and Reverend Yoon and President Hori and also Dr. Kihun Kim. We found ourselves having tea together that day and then Reverend Yoon just threw us on a boat for a 30 minute ride. So it, it, it makes it look like everybody there is just having fun on vacation. But actually, that was thanks to Reverend Yoon who took us on that trip. The reason I showed you is because I don't know if you're following all of the uh, posts I put on Facebook. I do do a lot of communication through Facebook, so it's good to know that. And I have this Facebook page. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because uh, many of you might be my friends on my normal Facebook page, but actually uh, this Facebook page, I'm out of space. I have no more space for friends. I already have 5,000 friends. There's another 620 uh, almost 620 people waiting for me to confirm their friendship request, but I have no more space. On Facebook, you can only have 5,000 friends and then it's over. So many of you may be hoping or waiting I, and wondering why I'm not being nice and accepting your friend request, but actually the truth is uh, I don't have any space left. So the thing to do is go look for Damien Dunkley with this yellow kind of picture and my channel, you can just search for Damien Dunkley page. And then this is infinite. Everybody can follow me here and then we can communicate together. I really try, respond to your comments and many things I post here to keep, you know, even it's all public. So, uh, you know, if you're wondering where some of my videos are or some of my communications, uh, you know, you, you know, anyway, I'm always thinking about Asia Pacific one. So I'm always speaking to you there. So I wanted to let you know that. And then, now I want to share with you some of the words that mother uh, shared with us. Okay, so this is now uh, I shared with the last video I was sharing with you mother's words. And then uh, that same day from April 26, that's when she gave the incredible gift to Asia Pacific One, the holy items. And then the next meeting uh, was where she was sharing her diamond ring, her wedding anniversary from two grandchildren. And I shared about that already in the video titled uh, 70 garments, you know, I shall give you 70 garments. And uh, so if you haven't seen that, I think most of you guys have seen that, but I explained mother's words there. Now I want to get to the next time we met with mother and this was April 28th. 
And these are unofficial notes like before. That's why I'm not going to post them. It's not perfect translation. And it's definitely not official, but I wanted to give you a sense. Okay. And, you know, her words actually are really about the environment and about heavenly stewardship, right? So this is why it's really good timing because today we're starting the next 40 day peace net uh, challenge. And the theme is really centering on heavenly stewardship of our beautiful environment. So mother said, we live in the era of Chanel Guk. The center of Chonilguk, the holy ground, the capital of the universe will be the Chonwon complex. Those videos, those pictures I was just showing you, right? All the people of the world will come here. For the sake of that day, when it comes to the building, I am investing in many areas and making many plans. When people leave, we need many things like rituals, foods, many things. But when I'm, I'm building the Chonwon complex, I built the Revival Plaza and the department store. So Mother's talking about the department store. However, Mother said, when you think of a department store, you should have everything. Meaning she thinks she's saying it should be huge, right? Uh, it means everything should be there. However, the Revival department store is very small. Now, somebody on Facebook asked me the question, Oh, mother made a department store, but, but it looks so small. Why did, why did she make it? So mother's explaining. The reason I put the name, the reason I, even though the store is small, the reason I put the name is like I mentioned in the past, in the garden where a heavenly parent will live, the children will live. How can the children offer glory and joy to heavenly parent? The kingdom of heaven on earth that was planned, mother's Mother's really, really substantially, I talk about heavenly stewardship. Mother's literally modeling heavenly stewardship in how she's building this environment. Mm, in the kingdom of heaven that was planned, how can we live such a life where we are reporting to heaven daily what we are doing, engaging in the process of creation? This nation, meaning Korea, was blessed to become the nation of heavenly parents. If Korea had supported True Parents, we would have started on a higher foundation. However, the fact that True Parents could create this environment is incredible. So in other words, again, mother's kind of hinting at this same thing. Like, look, you know, in 1960, the, the Holy Wedding, had that happened on the proper foundation, then, I mean, what we're seeing here in Changpyeong, maybe the entire nation would already look like that, right? <laughs> So mother now is kind of, you know, building everything. True parents have been doing everything from scratch. So if some of you are wondering why is the department store so small, it's not because mother doesn't want to build a big one. But here we have multiple restaurants, coffee shops, you know, we have a bathhouse, we have a stadium, we have a hospital, we have prayer halls, training centers, dormitories, high, high you know, deluxe villas, apartment villages. And, you know, now she's building a seven star hotel and hamburger joint, you know, everything's there, but there wasn't a department store. So even it's not as big maybe as mother would like, it is a beautiful department store and mother wants us to go there. Listen, uh, this nation was blessed to become the nation of heavenly parent. Uh, we should have started higher. However, it's incredible that true parents could create this environment. Therefore, even if this department store is not the best in the world, I hope that it is a place where people will come and purchase the most precious things. Surely, even it's small, the most precious things can be purchased in mother's department store, right? Uh, you are meeting me for the first time in 14 months. Actually, this was like the third meeting or so, but yeah, it's the first time in 14 months. That is why tomorrow is Children's Day, and I think of you as my children. So I will give you some money to go and buy something. So actually that day, she gives a little bit of money each to go and buy something from the department store. Um, actually, I didn't buy anything from the department store. Dr. Yoon said we should go to the department store and buy something and send them a picture. I failed, sorry. I actually gave the money away. But the point is, mother wants us to have that kind of experience and invest into that kind of experience. She said, uh, when father was here, there was a jewelry store, but something went wrong with the, uh, something went wrong with the old jewelry store. Let's just keep it there. Mother says a bit more, but I don't need to go into it. There was a problem there, but mother has reinvigorated a new jewelry store 
and it's called Christina Han Jewelry Store. Christina Han. I, I, I think maybe that's mother's jewelry store. Uh, so whenever you come, sisters should wear dresses. Okay, now mother, talk about heavenly stewardship. Mother right now is guiding us how to dress, how to dress. And there's a reason to all of this. And this is perfect for a heavenly stewardship, right? So um, whenever you come, the sisters should wear dresses and men should always wear dark suits, not like the one I'm wearing now, brothers, mm, when you come to see me. To the leaders, I will give you a necklace that signifies Chonilguk. To do that, those who attend the event will have a proper stature of leaders of Chonilguk. So again, she didn't give us necklaces. She gave us a little money to go and buy one, right? But the point is she's trying to encourage us to look our best. To do that, those who attend the events will have the proper stature of leaders of Chonilguk. Now, come on, all of you guys are leaders of Chonilguk. Okay, now listen, mother says, at the time of the kings in Europe, they would dress well and attend balls. I have some ancestors that maybe did that. In the era of Chonilguk, leaders from around the world you need to have the proper composure that can offer gratitude to Heavenly Parent. You need to look handsome, beautiful, and natural. And Mother talked about having a holy scent. You know, I believe Mother can see us spiritually. She can also smell us spiritually and maybe, of course, physically. So Mother's encouraging us to look beautiful and handsome and natural. And that's how we should be when we participate in these events. That is why I am preparing Christina Han gifts. So that is why she sent us to the department store. So, you know, again, everything that mother says to the leaders, of course, it's to the leaders, but it's representing all the members. So don't you think this means to all of us? Mother wants the men to wear dark suits. I think she doesn't mind really colorful ties. She's bought me a colorful tie before because I chose it, bright orange tie. You see me wear that one. And when she gave that to me, she laughed. Well, she she approved it because I showed mother and then she laughed and said, oh, that's good for when you're on stage because mother thinks of me as a little bit of a performer. In fact, once she asked Dr. Kim, is Damien a pastor or a comedian? Mm. There's a story behind that I'll share someday. Sorry. It's it's maybe nothing I should be proud of, but anyway, I'm a little bit uh, unusual, but I'm not going to wear this jacket in front of mother. Mother said a dark suit for formal events. So that's right. I'm going to wear a sharp, beautiful, dark suit and do my best. And so brothers and sisters, you know, take each other shopping when you can. This is the realm of heavenly stewardship. So please, if you have a financial limitations, please solve it. Please have the goal to solve it, even because we should be ready always to meet our heavenly parent and true parents and joyfully, handsomely, beautifully uh, prepare our environment like mother is preparing these beautiful gardens. Everything is there and mother's just beginning. Believe me, I go usually at least once or twice or three times a year to Korea when I'm in a leadership position and I'm always shocked. Recently, I'm almost getting lost because even the roads are changing. Everything is constantly developing, developing. So in the spirit of heavenly stewardship and heavenly environment, maybe all of us don't have enough resources to build our own department store in the next 40 days. OK, but maybe you can clean your closet. You know, you can say thank you to the clothes that you don't need anymore and give them away or sell them or throw them if they're really bad. Maybe you can organize your, you know, living room, your room, your basement, spring cleaning. Maybe you can do something to support one another in your family or in your business or in your school or in your for your grades or for your studies in your church. Think of all of these areas as heavenly gardens where true parents want us to attend heavenly parent. True parents want us to be able to invite heavenly parent into all of these environments when we're eating, when we're having tea together, when we're doing all things together, it is an opportunity to create heavenly atmosphere in a heavenly environment. So again, 
Congratulations, brothers and sisters. I'm so grateful we could receive Mother's words today. It's perfect timing. Have a great next 40 days of PeaceNet and get ready for the Chombo Challenge that's coming up soon. It's going to be fantastic. The leaders are having a lot of fun already in almost, uh, they're already 80 days through their Chombo Challenge. And uh, in the meantime, just have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of the day, rest of the week, and I'll see you at the next one. God bless you. Adieu.